Today we are preparing a pan fried soft shell crab, heirloom tomato and ranch salad, and a lemon confit coolie. Got it all there, Chef? Yeah, you got it. It's I'm great. Carolyn Jennings for Chic.TV, your lifestyle video magazine in the kitchen of Peacock Alley Restaurant with world renowned chef Cedric Tovar. How Thank are you? Thank you so much. I'm good. good. Why don't we start with the lemon confit coolie? I understand that takes a little bit of time to prepare. Okay, we have uh, um, uh, basically what we want to try to do here is uh, is basically a lemon coulis, and to do this, it's basically we have to confit a regular lemon, and a very simple way to do it is to basically score the lemon in four, just halfway, okay, okay right here, and then you're gonna put one piece of clove in there. One piece of, you know, a star anise. I'm gonna put it right here in in an aluminum foil. Okay. I'm gonna pour sugar over. Oh wow, you put a lot. Okay, and then we're gonna close this, basically, just like that. And then we're gonna just cook it in the oven on like 220 degrees uh, for approximately four hours. You gotta have to check just to open and just make sure that it's, it's cooked before you're taking it out. So it needs to cook slowly, but for a, a good amount of time. And uh, what, what texture, what consistency do we want to get the lemon to? Right here, very soft. Voila. <laughs> Let me touch that. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. So basically, after that, you put it in a blender and, and you, make a, you obtain a puree that's very thick, like this one. You just blend it and yeah. then you're done. Let's go over the ingredients. We have a very, a lot of seasonal ingredients. We have our beautiful ramps right here, um, which is sort of a, a, a spring uh, uh, onion. We have soft serve crab from uh, Virginia. Hey, little right? bunny. <laughs> Still alive. He's our dinner So guy. basically what we do is uh, we take a scissors, we uh, cut the mouth, gonna cut the things on the side right here okay. uh, the head and basically they're all ready to go right here this is a finished, uh, this is a finished product you can you can basically ask your uh, butcher or your fish purveyor to cut it for you and I'll have it ready uh, if you just don't have it in you yeah cut a crap and then we uh, have here like beautiful herb tomatoes and a uh, little bit of a uh, micro celery eggplants and a little uh, danadol powder, which is um, um, basically a seed, wheat. It's what is it? It's a wheat. A wheat. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and parsley, chopped parsley. It's thyme, fresh thyme, and we have also nice white little eggplant that we're going to use to do a little puree. What is different with white eggplant from regular eggplant? They're they're basically uh, uh, the seeds are much smaller, uh, and um, let me cut it again for you. Seeds are much smaller and the, the pulp is much wider and thinner, basically. You can cook it with the skin. Oh, okay. Okay? Um, let's get started. Yeah, where to begin? So, we're going to do here a little puree of eggplants right here. I'm going to cook this for Basically what I'm doing right here, it would be more like for like four, okay. four portions. Four. Um, we're gonna use the, the white part of the ramps, okay? So you just chop them up. Okay. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna put a little bit of water A little bit of salt and cover this. How long are we gonna wanna let that? We're gonna set? we're gonna cook this for approximately ten minutes. Okay. And then we're gonna puree and that's gonna be our base for the for the dish. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to make the salad. We'll start with the heirloom tomatoes. What is so different the about these tomatoes versus just your regular tomato you'll find at the grocery store? What These ones, um, what makes them heirloom is, 
<laughs> what makes them Arab? <laughs> <laughs> it's the um, it's it's the way they're grown uh, with um, uh, basically uh, 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 no pesticides and so very uh, it's 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 um, basically an ancient uh, breed of tomato that's much more flavorful and you can see I mean they grows in like you know different color stripes and different shapes and uh, and and they're they're totally delicious they have a, a flavor that's uh, that's that's really much more powerful than regular tomatoes they sound almost organic they are so we're just gonna cut them in small little pieces so we mince the ramps put it on top of the tomato and uh, basically that's about it right now uh, we're gonna wait for the puree to be ready it is cooked you see there you go tender they look like they lightened in color too yeah I totally it did so you can see that it's cooked because it's translucent is it water Touch of vinegar and a touch of olive oil. This puree. Now we have right here. Mm. Nice and white, really fresh. So we're seasoning now the soft crab with the salt, pepper, and danadal, both sides. Okay, again here. Salt, pepper. Yeah. We have a butter and a butter and olive oil. Um, the reason why I'm mixing olive oil with butter is because I don't want the butter to burn okay. and uh, um, uh, olive oil has a much better resistance to, uh, the olive oil has much better resistance to heat than butter. So now we're going to put a soft shell crab on the back. Which I was going to... And how long do these usually take to prepare? Three minutes. And I'm going to use a little bit of my fresh thyme right here okay. to flavor. Just put the whole piece in? The butter, yeah, okay. just like that. It's just to give it a little, nice little taste. Okay. 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 Turn them over. over. Mm. Have a nice little color. They're starting to get crisp. Start to smell the thyme. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One more flip. One more flip. We're just going to flip them over until they're cooked. I'm just gonna add a little bit of garlic at the end, so to give that nice, you know, garlic flavor. Okay. All right. So how do I know when the crab is actually ready? We we gotta touch it basically, and then you you basically you know when it's ready because it's it's such a small item to cook. Mm -hmm. It's like a scallop that you don't want to cook it more than three minutes. Okay. It okay. should just be firm to touch. It's, it should just be firm to touch. Okay. You want it fully cooked. And also the steam, when the steam is coming out of the pan, you see some steam mm -hmm. coming out. This means that it's actually cooked through. cooked through and steaming inside of the crab. Yeah, you can. Okay. You can also, if you're not sure, you can just, you know, cut it. Slice right it. through it and see. So it needs a little more cooking. It's almost there. And now we're going to be preparing our salad. Okay. okay, so we're going to put a little bit of sea salt and pepper. Lemon olive oil. A little bit of lemon olive oil. Drizzle it on. Chardonnay vinegar. Oh, our last one. <laughs> one more, one more spoon. There you go. It's very nice. Good job. Okay, I'll we'll finish this with a little bit of celery uh, <laughs> right there. Okay. Okay, I'll prep the ready. We're gonna cut them in half. Alright. Mm. 
Actually, they look very good. We're gonna do that just like this. Right down the middle? Right down the middle. And that's gonna be for presentation purposes. We'll see. Okay. And we have our puree. We have our puree. All right, so we have our finished entree. Mm -hmm. What wine complements it best? We have here uh, Sancerre, which is uh, really light and crisp that goes perfectly with the flavor of the salsa crab uh, and the early tomatoes as well. Uh, um, so, um, cheers. <laughs> a little bit of the puree. I have last no. A little bit of the lemon coulis. Mm. And a bit of the tomato. The tomato and ram. Ooh, the tomatoes. Really nice, my favorite mm -hmm. This is delicious. So there you have it, pan fried soft shell crab, heirloom tomato and ramp salad with the lemon confit coulis. I'm Carolyn Jennings for Chic.TV, your lifestyle video magazine. In the kitchen of Peacock Alley Restaurant with Chef Cedric Tovar. Thank you. Thank you, Chef.